What is up guys, RSC6414 here, back with another video. This time I am reviewing NXT that was on Hulu Plus yesterday. Um, that was a message on Facebook, somebody just messaged me. Um, so, I think that uh, this show was decent, wasn't anything special, wasn't anything great, just sort of an okay NXT. Um, was one bright spot, Leo Kruger, my favorite NXT superstar, returns. So, big old clap for Leo Kruger. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get to the review. First match we have, Big E returning, first time since he lost NXT Championship against Aiden English. This match literally lasted maybe a minute, if that. I don't even know. It might last lasted less than a minute, 40 seconds. And English like runs up the ropes, misses a move, and then Big E puts him in the big ending and uh, position and delivers it and pins him for a one, two, three. Big E wins. It's just a squash match that lasted 45 seconds, probably, if that. And then he does it again and does the one, two, three, four, five, five, five thing that he does in NXT. So, excuse me. Yeah, that was whatever. Um, then we have Emma vs. Oksana, NXT Women's Championship quarterfinal matchup. Um, backstage, Emma's getting interviewed, has bubbles, uh, getting interviewed by um, Tiffany Young or whatever her name, Renee Young, uh, and just gives her the bubbles and walks away, stupid promo or stupid backstage segment then she goes to the ring faces Oksana Oksana basically beat the mess out of her for uh beats the crap out of her for probably the whole match and then uh she's got her excuse me sorry yeah, like the scissors lock uh scissors lock and then she like has her in the scissors lock and then grabs her head and just slams her head into the canvas like three times then pins her for a near fall and then she's going for a move and gets countered and Emma puts her in the dilemma the submission maneuver she has don't exactly know what the real name is but that's what she calls her submission maneuver the dilemma and Oksana ends up tapping so Emma's moving on to face Summer Rae in the semifinals uh, to uh, winner of this tournament obviously becomes the new NXT Women's Champion and then Paige takes on Alicia Fox in the semifinals. That match will probably be next week. I already know who wins because of a spoiler on Facebook but I'm going to watch anyway so whatever. It'll be cool. Uh, it's got me intrigued in this in women's division for NXT now that there's a title so that'll be cool. Uh, next thing we have is Leo Kruger a little promo uh, saying he's debuting a little vignette uh, video package and then uh, we go right to the ring and it's Dante Dash versus Leo Kruger uh, Kruger dominates a lot of these basically all these matches but one were squash matches uh, Leo Kruger's just chopping him left and right and throwing him all over the ring I don't know if Dante Dash got more than a couple punches in for offense then uh, Leo Kruger delivers a hanging clothesline called the he calls it the slice. Just whacks Dante Dash in the head, throws on the hanging clothesline, and then puts him in the uh, I forget what his GC3, which is the inverted key lock, is the real name of the move that I know, but I can't ever remember what they call it. The GC3, but it's really called an inverted key lock. Is the name of the real submission maneuver. And uh, Dante Dash ends up tapping to a GC3 or the inverted key lock. So Kruger wins via submission. And uh, then he, uh, then next thing we have is Mickey Keegan. He was Axel Keegan. I don't know why they changed his name to Mickey Keegan versus Bo Dallas. Uh, the first time Bo Dallas has been back in a couple weeks since winning the NXT Championship. Bo Dallas just tossing him around the ring too. Just Keegan got in a little bit of offense. Uh, at one point in the match, but not too much. Bo Dallas just throwing him around the ring, and then um, he delivers the uh, like a runs up the ropes and delivers a bulldog. I don't know what it's called, uh, like corner upper ropes bulldog maybe. 
Uh, he runs up the top ropes and delivers a bulldog to Keegan, and then he uh, delivers the uh, body to body suplex for the one, two, three. Bo Dallas wins. Nothing special about the four or first four matches I talked about besides Kruger returning, which is good for me. Some of you may not care, but I'm happy about it. So I was happy about that. And then we go to the main event match. Oh, yeah, we also have Conor O'Brien for Ascension, saying the Ascension is rising, like there's going to be some new members since the other members since it sort of split up and it was just him. Sort of hinting he had a little vignette backstage promo that he cut, and he was like, dark and it was pretty cool I really liked it really good segment and uh, sort of hinting that there's going to be new members so that'll be cool if they put some new members in Ascension the stable in NXT and then we have the main event um, Bo Dow uh, sorry Cassius Ono and Corey Graves taking on Scott Dawson and Garrett Dillon with uh, their manager Sylvester Lepour. Um so this match was Probably the better, best match of the night. Um, probably lasted 15, 10, 12 minutes, somewhere around there. Uh, the winner becomes the number one contenders for the NXT tag titles, currently held by the Wyatt family, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. Back and forth match. This match was pretty good, I thought. Um, Scott Dillon slams him on his, uh, uh, slams, I think it was Corey Graves on his back, and then Garrett Dillon delivers sort of like Fandango, like a leg drop off the top rope for a near fall, and then uh, they have a submission, and they get out of that, and then uh, Corey Graves, Cassius Ono dumps Scott Dawson out of the ring after uh, Corey Graves hits a move for a near fall when Scott Dawson breaks up the pinfall, Cassius Ono runs in the ring, gets rid of Scott Dawson, throws him through the ropes, and then Corey Graves puts uh, Garrett Dillon in the lucky 13. Garrett Dillon taps, and Corey Graves and Cash Sono are your new number one contenders for NXT Tag Team Championships. Don't know when that match will happen, but it's pretty predictable. Considering that a match with the Wyatt family last week, I thought this was what was going to happen. Then after this match ends, here comes Eric Rowan and Luke Harper running down the, the entrance ramp. They start going at it, just stomping on uh, Corey Graves and Cash Sono, taking them out. And then here comes Adrian Neville. He's going off the top rope. He's taking out the Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt's out there as well, getting some punches in. But Adrian Neville's on the top rope and then uh, gets thrown off by Scott Dawson. And then Dawson and Dylan get involved with the Wyatt family. It's basically heels versus faces in the ring. And then William Regal from the announce table comes in and starts going at it too. It's just a big old brawl and uh, exchanging some punches. But everybody gets out of the ring except for the Wyatt family, and uh, William Regal is just getting stomped on by the Wyatt family, just getting pummeled, pummeled, if that's the right word, I guess, pummeled, I don't know, whatever, um, and uh, they just show ends when uh, the Wyatt family leaves Regal lying in the ring, like unconscious, I guess, and the Wyatt family are walking up the ramp laughing, and the show ends, uh, pretty good show, um, I'll be interesting to see the NXT tag title match between the Wyatt family and Graves and Ono. That should be good. Aside for that, overall grade I give this show is probably a 4 out of 10. Because they're 4.5 out of 10, I'll give it a 4.5. Uh, so yeah, that was another message on Facebook. Uh, don't mind it, sorry. Um, but yeah, a four and a half out of ten overall grade. Hope you enjoyed my review. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.